I'm from India. India. Mm. So I came in 2006 mm -hmm. Window Rock. Mm -hmm. There was a World Uranium Indigenous Summit. Mm -hmm. So I came to know about the uranium issue here. Mm -hmm. Because in our area also uranium is being mined for more than 40 years. I made a film on and that was a screen over here in Window Rock. There was mm -hmm. a uranium film festival. We wanted to learn what happened here. Mm -hmm. So that was my first exposure to this area. And then I realized that we can learn a lot from here. Mm -hmm. So okay. I again came back in 2011. Now I'm here to visit the communities mm -hmm. to whom I have interviewed last time. And uh, I also want to cover some more thing which is not I was able to cover last time. The trees used to be nice and green. Now look at it. You can see most of them are starting to die off. Mm -hmm. If you open them up, seed in them. Uh -huh. And the native people poke holes through there and uh -huh. wear it as necklace. Uh -huh. This used to be all healthy, now it's not. If they keep digging and digging, she's gonna get dry out from the vein, like almost like sucking out blood out of, you know, Mother Earth. So this, this is what we call transmission electron microscope. That's 10 microns. Okay. So it's a very bright grain. Mm -hmm. It's a uranium bearing grain. An indication of how small these materials are uh, that could be a problem. American history books, of course, never has told this sordid history. So when you mention the California gold rush, well, what about the indigenous people still were there? Uh, the white settlers could kill an Indian and deliver a handful of hair and get paid for it. My mother um, was Dorothy Pearlie. She worked in the mine from 1975 until clo closing. She was a truck driver. She drove high-grade uranium ore. 1993, uh, my mother discovered two uh, lumps under her arm, and the doctor, he told my mom, he said, well, Dorothy, I'm sorry to tell you, but you have cancer. Other of her, her peers were also sick, and she noticed that uh, it was cancer. People were dying of cancer. Sri brought with him uh, some gentlemen from Jharkhand, uh, India. Um, the Indian government owns all the uranium production. So we think we got problems here. They've got a lot of them there. So uh, when I met native Indians here, uh, uh, they were expecting that we Indian, uh, uh, Indian Indian and they native Indian, they will have some kind of solidarity. We talk about justice, equality, and I found completely different. What, what is the reason and why this happened? Uh, Indians who come to California, especially Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. are upper caste, rich Indians who have no interest in rocking the boat because they are actually benefiting from the status quo. They don't identify with the oppressed, they identify with the oppressor. 80% of the world's uranium comes from indigenous lands and 100% of India's uranium, productive uranium comes from uh, Adivasi and tribal lands like Kadugura, Jharkhand and Meghalaya. And also sociological study to the, to the Indians of this class. I cannot say anything about Indians of the other class like the, the restaurant, restaurateurs or service people or taxi drivers. Or, most of the professional class Indians are, are not politically oriented or their poly political orientation is uh, dictated by, by the ruling class. Yeah. What they're interested in is keeping the power to themselves. And what they're most, sens most sensitive to is how India is portrayed in the West. So they don't like poor, poor India being portrayed. Well, I was thumbing, hitchhiking. I was thumbing down the mother road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was thumbing down the highway out west. Heading home to see my folks, just out there doing my best. Well, I made it from Gallup to Barstow, I was heading over to 58. 
that was a rough old stretch of road to hike on. It was getting kind of late. When an old cowboy in a Peterbilt, he pulled over to the side. He said, hop in, son, I'll give you a ride. I don't know this interviews in a film form will change anything or not but at least I can raise this awareness to the other, other part of the world they never set this bomb on when the wind was going towards Hollywood that's when I saw him wipe a tear off his nose hey old lady Honestly, in some ways, I feel sorry for the, the kids in this community because they think that almost all elders carry around an oxygen bottle with, you know, oxygen in there. That's just all they know. So we all did our videos by ourselves and we did our own camera work. So we could learn about how uranium like first started. Well, we mainly made the videos yeah. so other people can learn. And I feel that the government is not fearing with gun or weapons. They feel fear for the same if they know that they are doing something wrong to their own community. Then probably they feel that they need to do something internationally. Otherwise they will not listen. So that is my idea. <laughs>